Problem 8. Line segment AB is the diameter of the circle with AB is equal to 24. Point C, not equal to A or B, lies on a circle as point C moves around a circle. The centroid, center of mass of ABC, traces out a closed curve missing two points. To the nearest positive integer, what is the area of the region bounded by this curve? So basically, we just need to find this curve first, right? Because without the curve, how do we find the area? Well, let's suppose that the centroid is somewhere right here. Think about what happens when we move C to here. Well, you can draw yourself out another triangle that looks something like this. And centroid is just connecting the center lines. So if I connect the center line, nay, big, there, there, etc., I would say it's roughly right there. Right? That's roughly the center point. What do you notice here? When I moved it this much, the center, um, the centroid moved this much. That should give you a suspicion. Wait a minute. I am moving C all the way around the circle. So what would happen to the centroid? Well, it should also move around the entire circle in a circular fashion, like boom, 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 right? And that's just a healthy level of suspicion that you need to have for intuition, right? Because obviously you're not going to spend the time on the entire test drawing out a bunch of centroids. You have to have a suspicion to lead you to a plausible conclusion from patterns you observed early on. And if you want to convince yourself, just draw yourself another triangle and you would see that this is the case. With this out the way, let's begin solving this area. Well, how do we find the area of the circle? Well, areas of circles require pi r squared. In other words, they require the radius. So how do you find the radius of, you know, this circle? Well, let, this is the center, right, right there. And even though it's poorly drawn, we know that this and this form a straight line. So uh, roughly like that, right? And there is a formula for our centroids of circles. I mean, centroids of triangles. If I were to have a and b, then a to b would be 1 to 4. That's the idea. So we have to use this ratio to find it. The reason why for this is because CO, I'll call the center O, CO is a radius of the larger circle. And we know what that is because we know AB is 24. So this is equal to 12, right? CO is 12. And let's call this green segment, I'm gonna color it in green. I'll call this segment B. Segment B by this formula right here will just be equal to 1 fourth times 12, right? And 1 fourth times 12, uh, wait, uh, that's B. That's radius 12. Wait a minute, I think something's wrong. 12, 12 there, right? One third. Yeah, sorry, this is gonna be one over three, right? The reason why is because A, so what I'm trying to say here is A is twice, A is, no, B right here is twice as long as A. Yeah, that's why I was like, wait, why is this wrong? A over B, yeah, that makes sense now. Because in the, in the formula right here, what I'm trying to say is, B is twice as long as A, so that means the ratio has to establish itself like this. All right, now that makes sense. So this should be 1 over 3. So that should equal 4. B is equal to 4. That means the radius is 4. That means the area of the smallest triangle, a smaller circle is pi times B squared, which is 16, 16 pi. Pi is roughly 3, so that's 48. What is the number closer to 48? Well, that's 50. So your final answer would be C.